Makano po. <laughs> Makano po ang dingdong? Shete po. <laughs> Shete po. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are with Tyler. Hello, hello. We are going to make Tyler try some of my favorite Filipino snacks. And he's gonna do a taste test of each jumpers that we have here. And then he's gonna rate it from one to 10. One is like, uh, like the least favorite and 10 like the most favorite. First snacks that he's gonna try. My favorite, Oishi. Ever since when I was still in grade school, this is my favorite. This is kind of spicy, but very salty at the same time. But it's not like super crazy spicy and hot. Can you help me? You may not be able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just slice across the top and then no, fold it up. See, and if you pull it, it might tear differently. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like shrimp. Or he, it's kind of, he, kind of in the middle. He's it, not a fan of seafood. In the middle, it can go both ways. It could be good, it could be bad. The only way to know is to try. Try. Ten, ta -da -da, ta -da. I love that. When I was young, I used to eat that junk food and I always eat it with Coke or cold water. not bad. You can start to feel the spice kind of right away, but it's not overpowering that the spice. The shrimp smell is powerful, but the shrimp taste is not. You can't taste the shrimp so much. I can. I can definitely taste the shrimp. You can? Yeah. But the ones in the Philippines, because we just bought this in the Asian store here in Charlotte, so this is not as uh, spicy as the one that I used to buy in the Philippines, so... It didn't seem too spicy. Yeah. I ate, I ate probably five or six of them and... Not bad. You like it? I like them. So, rate it from one to ten. That one... I was afraid it was a five. I'm gonna have to put it at more of a seven. The saltiness is delicious. Okay. And it's not real spicy. So, it's Tyler approved? Tyler approved. I'm gonna let you choose. Let me pick. I'm gonna go with Chippy. It says chili and cheese corn chips. So this reminds me of Fritos in America. Okay, I need you to smell this. It doesn't have... It doesn't have much of a smell. It's kind of like a... Like a chip bag, but not... A little hinty, cheesy type cheesy. of... Cheesy. Kind of like a weak Doritos. <laughs> yeah, very weak Doritos. There's a comic strip here on the back of the plastic. So I'm going to have Tyler read it. Oi, what was it? Oi, Chan. <laughs> Barang tamaba. Tu, tumaba. Ka ata a. <laughs> oh, inga. No? You sound Japanese. Perfect. <laughs> You're like Japanese. <laughs> Barang all right, that's a hard one. Nagkalaman. Naga. Nagkalaman. Cheeks mo. Okay, I think I should tell you how to read it properly. In the Tagalog, it should be Oi chong, parang tumaba ka ata a. And then, ongano. Ongano. Control, control yourself. Bawal ang pikan. A e e o o. Control, control yourself. Bawal ang pikon. Good. Bawal ang pikon. Now, taste it. Okay. You can taste the chili and the cheese, but it's not like super overpowering. Or it's not real cheesy, it's not real chili-ish. Mm. Rate it from 1 to 10. Be honest. This one's like a two or a three. Me too. This one's not that great. I think it's because we bought it here. But if you buy this in the Philippines, this will taste so good. Like it will have so much powder. Yeah, it's lacking the it. powder. Yeah. There's no powder on it. It's just there's a difference um, 
when it comes to like buying Filipino snacks or Filipino foods in the Asian store in the US. So most, of, it's like you can't expect it to be the same taste. I think sometimes they are required to lessen the sodium or lessen the MSG to pass like, US I don't know. US standards, I Yeah, guess. like the US standards, something like. Yeah, it looks like they have to change kind of how they make it in order to sell it here. Is it approved or disapproved? Uh, disapproved. Let's save chocolate all for the same time. Fee cut. This is my sister's favorite snacks, apishila. When we were in high school in Alka, this is what we used to buy. And 100% real potatoes. Really? I don't think so. I don't believe them. <laughs> Let's try. Amoy ano? Amoy kipay? Ano, you know kipay? Kipay? Kipai is a bread in the Philippines. Ah. It's a delicious bread. Why are you laughing about it then? <laughs> I like potato chips. I'm gonna start it at seven. Seven, okay. Now let's taste it. Hmm. It's not mm. even spicy at all. I know exactly what it reminds me of. Soup. Soup? Like a clear soup? Like a clear Asian soup? Like, um... Egg soup. Miso. Potato soup. Do you like it? No, those are better. Approve or like disapprove? Approve. Good. Stick into the cheesy thing. These are called clovers. Read this. It says Leslie's. Simut Sarap Kasama. Simut Sarap Kasama? They look like little bowls. Like cheese balls? No, bowls. Bowls. Like, like oh, a okay. bowl. Like a drink out of a bowl. I like it. I like the texture more than I like the taste. I'm so glad it's still crispy because before I used to buy this in the Asian store and they're very chewy. Which means they're already stale. These ones are pretty good. I like the texture. Very good. They're, they're like soft chips. I like it. They're still like chips. They crunch. It's like Cheetos, but thin. And more crunchy. Perfect. Perfect. A thin, bowl-shaped Cheeto. A little less cheese on it, so it's more like a cheese puff. My stomach's starting to kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my favorite. Piatos, everyone's favorite of the Philippines. So yeah, when I was in high school, even up to college, I used to get this a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheese flavored potato crisps. Mm -hmm. They're really thin and they're really crispy. Okay. I am kind of disappointed now because I already saw the chips and they're not as cheesy and they're not as yellow as the one we used to get in the Philippines. They're black and they look so pale. So I'm gonna have to show you guys. To my co-Filipinos, look how pale this is. It needs to be more cheesy, baby. It's it's supposed to be super yellow. Super yellow? Yeah. Hmm. It'll still work if you're into something really, really crispy. The crispiness is still there on point. What do you think? I think these are my favorite so far. Ooh, I didn't expect that. They're not, like she said, they're probably not as cheesy, but they're still pretty cheesy. Favorite so far. Approved. Tyler approved. Very approved. Tostilla. Tostilla. We call Tostis. it tostillas. To tostillas. Call it tostillas. Right. But I'm sure here in the US, you guys are going to call it tostillas. They're all Jack and Jill. Yes. Oh man, it just smells like the stuff they put in to like seal it off. Yeah. Weird. Something can't be right with that. Again, I already know how this snacks taste like and is that close? something is wrong, not even close, not even an inch close. Something is wrong with these chips. Tortilla we... chips are normally real crunchy and crisp and these are not. <laughs> I mean this is still crunchy but 
you can tell that it's already stale probably because we bought this in the Asian store and this is not cheesy at all see like how pale this is probably shipped from really far of course all right he already tried this last night and I was surprised because he really liked it these were the stuff cracklings and I know these are good this is what we bought in the Philippine store. My guess on what she just said is she used to eat it and she likes it. Yes, but that's just like one eighth of what I said. Oh. She used to like them when she was a kid and she ate them all the time. But she hasn't get to eat them in a long time because she's been in America. Hell she no. really misses them. Perfect translation. Smell is zero because it's so vinegary. Mm, super sour to smell. <laughs> but the taste is really good. They're soft and they're crunchy at the same time. And they got the right amount of vinegar and salt. A little more vinegar than salt and I guess what we're used to, but still about, about the same. And these are really good. We were crushing them last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> last up are ding dongs. Ding dong? Ding dong. In America, this is a sweet, long, cream filled snack. In America, a ding dong is a long, cream-filled snack. Wait, wait, you guys also have snacks here it, called ding dong. They're called ding dongs. Ding dongs. Plural. I haven't seen them. Ding dongs, airtight like a tire. It smells exactly like peanuts and peanut butter. Let's go. Let's try a little bit of everything. Let's get some of that yellow stuff on there. This corn, right? Mmm. You like it? That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. You did that? Mmm, <laughs> good. Do it. Put a lot into it. Oh, that? these are bomb. Third favorite so far. Okay, so the next snacks that we're gonna taste, this is called sponge. This is one of my favorite snacks as well. It's very good. It's, it melts in your mouth and it's so chocolatey, baby. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, tastes good. I mean, that's, smells good. I mean, but chocolate is chocolate. Like, it's always good. Alright, those are good. Had the saltiness from the chips. in my mouth. They're light. They're chocolatey. Chocolate's my number one. This gets an automatic 10. I like these. Me too. Reminds me of cereal. Cocoa Crunch. Hmm. Reminds me of Cocoa Crunch. Choco Nuts. Chocolate covered coated pretzels says it right there in the package. Cheers. Chocolate. It just kind of takes a while before you taste the chocolate. You have to chew it very well and let it melt before you taste the chocolate flavor. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of like a slightly more processed chocolate, but it's still chocolate. This is only six pesos or seven. Yeah, they're pretty good for a little snack. Not as good as the last chocolate one, though. Mm -hmm. And which one is your favorite again? Sponge. That that is his number one favorite sponge. And then the second is the piatos. No, the second is. Oh, the cracklings. The cracklings. And then the piatos. And the piatos. So, what can you tell about the Filipino snacks? I need to try them. In the real Philippines yeah. way. But as far as it goes, pretty good snacks. He's gonna try balut. I don't know what that is. But you know balut? I should have be scared. It's really delicious. It's so chocolatey and mm, chocolate. yeah, it's so good. Balut is so chocolatey. And then in that chocolate bar, you have to put some salt and vinegar as well. 
on the chocolate. And then it will fly, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, baby, for trying all my favorite Filipino snacks. It's time to say goodbye. This is the end of our video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Thank you so much, guys. Love you all.